What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and you already know I'm back at you with another video. Let's get right into it, all right? Believing in yourself will help you destroy and eliminate all thoughts from dream killers and naysayers, okay? When anybody tries to put any thoughts of doubt or disbelief into your mind, one thing that is going to have to be strong is your core belief. How you feel about yourself is going to have to be stronger and be more powerful in your mind than what anybody else has to say on the outside. People are always going to have an opinion, especially when you are on your way to be great. Everybody's going to have something to say. Everybody's going to want to try to pull you in the opposite direction of the direction that would make you great. People start to get anxious and they start to get anxiety and have panic attacks around somebody that's about to make it. Everybody wants to tell you what you should do. It's like if you win, won the lottery, if you just won a million dollars, everybody would be coming up to you trying to tell you what you should do. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. But it's the same thing. It's just the money isn't physically there, but spiritually people could sense that you are about to become successful and they sense that you are on your way towards riches, prosperity, all those good things. So they want to try the people who don't want you to have that will try to make you not believe in your ability to create that for yourself. All they are is dream killers and naysayers. They're just people, all right? So what they say is and what they say is an effect. Don't let what they say, don't let their effect be a cause, okay? Or you know what I mean. I didn't mean to say that, but I meant to say the opposite. Don't let their cause be an effect, okay? What their what they try to do will just try to cause you to be upset. They will try to cause you to be upset, okay? What they'll try to do is they'll try to cause you to doubt yourself. They'll try to cause you to not believe in yourself, all right? So don't let their cause be an effect, all right? The effect would be you taking what they say and internalizing it, putting emotion behind it, and believing in it. What people say cannot have an effect on you, all right? Only time what somebody says can have an effect on you is if you let the cause become an effect. You internalize what they say. You put energy behind it. You put emotion behind it. You put belief behind it, okay? Because there's supposed to be a thought that's in you that's greater than that. And that's what you're supposed to put energy towards. Even if somebody says something that makes you feel bad and you feel bad for a second, if you turn your mind around and start putting energy towards a better thought or a greater thought, the thought that's in you, you start internalizing that and energizing that, it will eliminate that it will it will eliminate the uh negativity that that person just tried to bring your way. Okay? So don't believe in what they say. If somebody tries to make you not believe in yourself, don't believe in that. All right? People try to make you doubt yourself. People try to make you not believe in your dream. Don't believe them. You know how much time you spend working on your dream. How, why would you let somebody who doesn't know how much time you put into yourself, who doesn't know how much effort you put into yourself, why would you let their cause be an effect? Why would you let them cause you to be affected by what they say? Why would you let them make you give up on your dream? A lot of times people will try to confuse you because they see you have a bright future. People will try to throw you off your path because they see that where you're going is going to be a great life for you. They see where you're going, you're going to be able to live in that mansion that you always talked about. Where you, They see where you're going, you're going to be able to live that life that you always wanted. The life of, of being successful, the life of being prosperous, the life of being rich. People can't do certain things and they and they limit themselves and they have a belief of lack. So they want to make you believe in lack. They want to make you not believe in yourself. See, people believe in something 
They just don't believe in themselves. Whether you whether you know it or not, you are putting your belief in something positive or something negative. Something positive that's going to help you go somewhere or something negative that's going to keep you stuck and stationary. So one thing that you want to do is you want to put your belief in positivity. You want to put you want to actually believe in yourself because that way you'll be able to achieve whatever it is that you want. People are believing in the fact that they can't do it. People are believing in lack. People are believing that they don't have what it takes. People are believing that they don't have enough skills. People are believing that uh, what people are telling them. You can't do that. Okay, people will believe that. You'll never make it. People will go believe that. When people tell you those things, you're supposed to go even harder. You're not supposed to believe people when they tell you that you can't do something. That is a dream killer. A lot of people want to kill your dream because somebody came and killed theirs. A lot of people don't have a strong belief. A lot of people uh, uh, don't study. A lot of people don't research. So they don't know that there are people out there that are purposely trying to stop them. They think people may have their best interest at heart. No. There are people out there that don't want to see you make it. There are people out there that don't want to see you become successful. There are people out there who are just mad, hateful, and upset at the idea or fact of you becoming successful. So what they'll try to do is they want to make you doubt yourself. They want to make you doubt that dream. They want to make you doubt your skills. And you don't do any of that. You believe in all those things. You believe in yourself. Believing in yourself will help you destroy that person's doubt. All right, that person wants you to doubt yourself because your belief is so strong. When you believe in yourself, it makes people scared. It makes people insecure. People worry about their own self. People don't want to see you make it. So the fact that you believe in yourself on top of them not wanting to see you make it, it, it's, it, it, it comes off as an ego crusher. It crushes their ego and you look like a superhero and they're the villain. They're the villain. You're the superhero trying to save the day in terms of trying to save your life. You're trying to save your life. You're trying to save your day. You're trying to save your, your way of life. You're trying to save your thoughts. You're trying to save your ideas. You're trying to save your dream. And these supervillains are trying to stop you from creating the life you want. They're trying to stop you from living the life you want. They want you to sit down, accept life for what it is, live in the matrix, give up, complain, cry, boo-hoo, be poor, live in poverty, and just accept a life of negativity. They want you to accept bad health. They want you to accept a disease. Something's wrong with you. They just want you to shut up, accept it, and deal with it, live with it. Don't try to heal yourself. Don't try to fix yourself. Don't try to believe in yourself. Don't, don't try to reverse it. Don't try to eat healthy or prevent it. Don't try to, don't, don't even try to think that you could prevent it. Don't, don't try to do anything different. Don't believe you could do anything different. We've been living like this for years. What, what, what makes you think you, you should, uh, you have the power to make a change? What makes you think you could do anything different? Believe in yourself and that will help you destroy and eliminate all thoughts from the dream killers. They want to project how they feel about life onto you. Because you have you have such a, a bright outlook on life. They want to dim your view on life because you view life, you view life as something that's limitless. You view life as as uh, having endless possibilities and they want to shut that down. You think outside the box, they want to put you in a box and sit on top of the box so you'll never get out. All right. They want you to live in a constant prison of fear, of, of self-hatred of worry, of self-disgust, loathing, all right, not feeling like you're worthy of anything greater than a, 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 a boring career that's unsatisfying. They want you to have an unsatisfying life. They don't want you to be satisfied. They don't want you to reach your goal. They know that if you reach your goal, you'll be ecstatic. You'll wake up every day and it'll be it'll be a miracle. You'll wake up every day and it'll be a dream. You'll wake up every day and you'll be living your best life. It'll be amazing. Every day will be an amazing day for you. 
And they're trying to cut you off from that. They're trying to stop you from that. They're trying to cut you off from those good feelings that you get from going in the direction that you know will prosper you. They know that if you go in this direction, you'll be you'll be prosperous way more than just a thirty eight thousand dollar a year, more than fifty thousand dollars a year. They know if you go in this direction, you'll be making a, a, a maybe a million dollars a year. Who knows? All right. It's up to you. If you could make a hundred thousand dollars in a month, which is a, a possibility, if you could if you could make a hundred thousand dollars a month, wouldn't you want that? more than making $38,000 a year? What if you could make $38,000 a month? The possibility is endless. It's up to you. You can do it. Visualize it. See the end. And the universe will draw everything into your reality to create that experience. So believe in yourself. Believe in God. Believe in the universe. Believe in the laws of attraction. That's what Jesus used. It's all in the Bible. It's just described differently and coded up. So believe in your ability to create your reality. Believe in your ability to make happen what you want happen. Believe in your reality to create that uh, dream, to create that vision, to make your mark in life, okay? To be somebody, to be a legend, to be legendary, to be amazing, to be magnificent, okay? Believe in yourself to be able to do the impossible, to be able to do what you think you can't do. If you believe in God and you believe in Jesus, you're supposed to be doing the impossible. If you believe in God, if you believe in Jesus, you're supposed to be doing what people tell you that you can't do. That's what Jesus was all about. Jesus was about doing what people told him he could not do. You can do what people tell you you can't do if you so believe. Eliminate and destroy negative thoughts. When people are projecting their losses onto you, destroy it. When people are projecting their negativity onto you, destroy it. When people are are projecting their doubt, their worry, their fear onto you, destroy it. You have the power to become successful. You have the power to be what you want to be. You have the power to do what you want to do. You have the power to have the life that you so choose. All it takes is believing. If you people will believe in God, but they won't believe in themselves. People will believe that they can hit the lottery, but they won't believe that they can be successful. And that's why they don't hit the lottery, because they don't have the right belief. They're just playing a game and hoping. Belief is knowing. Belief is trusting. Belief is unwavering. Belief is having faith. That's belief. Belief is knowing that God said so, and so it is, and it cannot be otherwise. That's belief. Belief is knowing that your goal is concrete. That gift that God gave you, that's concrete. Belief is knowing that I can do this. If I put my faith and I put my belief and courage and strength and wisdom into myself and into God, first and foremost, without a doubt, I'll make it. Especially if I put all those things within the God in me, I'll be supercharged. When it comes to my goals and dreams, I will be a superhero. And any, any villain, any naysayer, any dream killer, any doubter, any judger, anybody trying to stop me from my grind, trying to stop me from my success, trying to stop me from my dream, I'm not going to believe them. I'm going to mark them off as a mark. All right, I'm going to mark them off as a lame-o, lame. All right, get out of here. I believe in myself. You're not going to not make me believe in myself. My, my thoughts that I believed in before got me to a place where I don't want to be. So if the thoughts that I believe now that I do want to think will get me to a place that I do want to be. Let me repeat that. The thoughts I didn't want to think or I shouldn't have been thinking and that I shouldn't have been believing in got me into a place that I didn't want to be. The thoughts that I should have not been believing in got me into a predicament, got me into an undesirable circumstance, got me into a, a lower level of life, a place I didn't want to be. So if I switch my mind around, and start thinking different thoughts and believe in better thoughts, believe in more positive thoughts, it can only go up from here. Especially if I tell myself that 
if I believe in that, if I contemplate on that, if I meditate on that, that's the result I, that I'll get. And it can, it can not, it can't be otherwise. God is concrete. That sun rises, God's truth will never go. God's truth will never change. His word always stays the same. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Make sure you keep continuing to believe in yourself because you will make it if you do truly, honestly believe that. Within the depths of your soul, the mighty depths of your soul, you will create that. And with the feeling and the thought and the action, <laughs> that's the law of attraction. I want to thank everybody for showing some love in the comments. Thank you for hitting the share button, if you care button. Okay, throwback. And thank you for showing some uh, some love by hitting that like button because that's the life button. It pours life into the channel, and I appreciate that. Okay, thank you, everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Shout out to everybody watching this video. Okay, I'll see everybody in the next video. It's been another DrewTube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out.